these cells all right now people when it comes to cardiac pacemaker the cardiac pacemaker is going to be sinoatrial node we will learn more about sinoatrial node and why it is called as pacemaker everything in a separate video all right but now in a very brief manner since it's an introductory video for cvs let's understand what is what all right sinoatrial node is going to be the pacemaker of the heart pacemaker of the heart number 1 number 2 sa node is located in right atrium located in right atrium and this is going to be very close to opening of superior vena cava all right now that's sinoatrial node that's going to be the pacemaker of the heart impulses that gets generated in the sinoatrial node is going to spread all throughout the right atrium is going to spread all throughout the left atrium as well so the entire atrium is getting depolarized by the impulses that gets generated in the sinoatrial node guys on one side right atrium and left atrium gets depolarized with current coming from sinoatrial node and once these cells are getting depolarized finally the current is going to reach atrioventricular node and this conduction is made possible simply by gap junctions from one cell to another cell there is going to be gap junction which you will be learning more about those gap junctions and everything in cardiac morphology but as of now just understand this one cell to another cell current can easily flow and this is made possible by a specific kind of protein called as gap junctions right so that's the way with which current is going to turn towards atrioventricular node so after depolarization of atrium there is going to be depolarization of atrioventricular node guys that's on one side on the other side the current that gets generated in sinoatrial node gets transmitted to atrioventricular node through a another kind of conducting fibers called internodal fibers see what you are seeing here all right number 1 number 2 number 3 these three fibers are collectively called as internodal fibers whose only job is to get the current from sinoatrial node and conduct the current to atrioventricular node they are called as internodal fibers so let's study internodal fibers as well there are three kinds of internodal fibers guys first one is going to be anterior bundle the second one is going to be middle bundle and the third one going to be posterior bundle so there are three bundles all right guys so you can understand in this picture itself one it is going to be anterior bundle middle bundle and posterior bundle please understand they are not parallel like this anterior middle they are not like that they are like this anterior bundle middle bundle posterior bundle it's a three dimensional representation don't you know assume that these fibers are arranged one next to the other no they are arranged in front of each other anterior bundle middle bundle and posterior bundle that carries current from sa node all the way to av node anterior bundle is also called as it is also called as backman's bundle middle bundle is also called as wenke back and posterior bundle is also called as thoral bundle it's a synonymous term for these kinds of internodal fibers guys anterior is backman's middle bundle is wenke back and posterior bundle is thoral bundle all right that's the way current reaches av node 